top essay. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to say hi again. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Weekly Words. This week, the topic is going to be SAT words, words that students who are studying for the SAT, uh, the SAT is a kind of college preparatory test or a test that students take usually to um, apply for colleges. The words are typically fairly challenging for high school students, and these are some of the words that um, might cause trouble for some people. So let's begin. The first word is assiduous. Assiduous is a word that means somebody who is uh, persistent or who is uh, always you know, trying to do their best to work really, really hard. You might have a coworker who is assiduous. I suppose you could also use it if you're just describing anything that's hardworking, like ants, for example. You might say ants are very assiduous creatures. They work hard, they can lift more than their own body weight. Okay, that was pretty good. Next, intuitive. Intuitive. Someone who is intuitive is someone who has a good instinct, or they're able to sense what the right thing is to do without, you know, having to be taught what the right thing is. So uh, let's say maybe you're mm, going surfing for the first time and it comes to you really, really easily uh, after just your first couple tries. Your friends might say like, wow, you're really intuitive. You know how to do this without you know, having to take a lesson or anything. Great job, a good trait to be intuitive. Precocious, precocious is another, usually a positive word. Precocious is usually used for children, children who are kind of strangely talented at something, even when they're very, very little. So maybe you've seen on YouTube a kid who can play the piano extremely well, even though he or she is five years old. We might say, he's precocious, or she's a precocious child. She can do so much, but she's so young. It's usually a very impressive thing that the kids are able to do. All right, the next one is evanescent. 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 Evanescent is another adjective, which means something that fades away rather quickly or something that's very short-lived. Oh, to be very romantic about it, you might say, the scent of her perfume was very evanescent. You could smell it for a brief moment and then it faded away. Yeah, ooh, that was kind of nice. The next word is anecdote. An anecdote is usually some kind of a short, funny story that's a retelling of an event that happened to you. It might be a written story or a spoken story. Oh, want to hear an anecdote about my last trip to Bali? It was hilarious. <laughs> I don't know that I'd ever say that, though. It's not something you'd use so much in casual conversation. I feel like a critic might write this word about someone else's writing. The anecdotes she chooses to include in her writing are very humorous for example. Okay, well, we've learned a few SAT words that um, students might have trouble with when they're studying for the test in their high school years. I hope that you find some of these words useful and can use them in your daily life as well. Thanks for joining us this week, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.